Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the Old School Games Knob, aka AJ Dare, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Gods Unchained and just how much you can make playing this play to earn a cryptocurrency based game. Let's jump into it. This is a look at Gods Unchained. It's very reminiscent of games like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone. It's actually put together the lead guy behind Gods Unchained is actually one of the lead guys behind Magic the Gathering, the old OG of card games. This is an extremely well put together, even though it's currently just an alpha, this game is extremely well put together and a whole heck of a lot of fun to play. This is a far cry, far stretch from the usual crypto money grabs that we see uh, kind of spamming the spamming the internet these days. The beautiful thing about Gods Unchained and its pay to earn, play to earn rather model, not pay to earn, play to earn model, is that this is a game you would play just for fun. And, and money aside, this is a game that's worthy of playing and that is I think a key difference between this game and a lot of the grindy boring games that are basically just grind time away to earn money, like that's what we see in a lot of the crypto space these days. Not the case, not in the case of Gods Unchained. This is a legit super fun game that actually pays out pretty substantially. Okay, so how much can you earn playing Gods Unchained? We're gonna take a look at the bread and butter here, but before we talk about the bread and butter, this game tends to reward its players uh, in spades. Uh, it's players who have been playing for over the last year, even casual players who only own maybe like one deck of cards, uh, recently got paid out just so much in Immutable X tokens and so much in God's tokens. Check out some of my previous videos for that. Basically, some of the airdrop payouts have been in the magnitude of tens of thousands of dollars. For not, not split up amongst all the players, but each player got somewhere in that neighborhood of money, depending on just how much they played, how big their collection was and stuff like that. But in addition to how this game sort of just seems to airdrop <laughs> big amounts of money to its, to its players at random points, um, what they do as well is a routine play to earn weekend. Now this is a ranked weekend where you can play to earn and you play 25 games each ranked weekend and depending on how many games you win of those 25, you will earn a certain number of prizes. And let's take a look at those prizes and then we'll talk about some of the other ways that you can also earn money in this game because there's quite a few. Okay, so here's a look at the prize structure for playing the ranked pay to earn weekend. You can win up to, if you win 25 of 25 games in a row, and if you start at mythic rank, and now this is a bit difficult to achieve, I have definitely seen players do this, you know, this range, this range, with fair consistency once you get really good. Um, to, you know, get to the top top prize is, you know, a little bit, of, probably quite a bit harder, I dare say. <laughs> but, but the point is, we're going to be looking at what is possible, and then we're going to be looking at what is kind of more likely, what is more easy. For myself this weekend, I just kind of, I just kind of fooled around, and I ended up with one legendary Divine Order deck and one uh, Divine Order rare. Uh, so th that is actually right there worth about, oh, let's say about 30 bucks. 30 bucks of cards that I got just for playing and having some fun here this weekend, and that's just the start of it. All right, so the question is, what are those Divine Order and other legendary packs actually worth? Well, if you head on over to Gods Unchained to buy some of these items, you can see that a legendary pack currently costs 23.33, its regular price is 24.99, so one Divine Order legendary pack is worth, oh, let's say about 25 bucks. Now that is if you just buy the deck. Now this can actually be even better, potentially, if you draw good cards, but if you, as you see over here, the potential top earnings are three Divine Order Legendaries, three Divine Order Epics, three Divine Order Rares, three Rares, three Epics, three Legendaries. So you get all of these decks if you win the maximum possible prizes. If you win somewhere near the top, you also get some pretty good prizes as well. But if you were to win the very, very top prizes, and I've done the math here, if you were to win the top prizes, you would probably end up with somewhere around $150 worth of prizes for playing just your 25 ranked games of the of the weekend. Now, how long does it take to play 25 ranked games? Well, on average, my games tend to take about five to six to seven minutes, give or take. Now I play a nice fast blitzy deck so that their games are nice and fast. Uh, there are other decks which take longer to, to complete your rounds, but I like to play my games quick. I like to win quick or lose quick and uh, kind of move on to the next. 
Uh, so if you do the math a little bit, which I did, it takes about three hours to complete your weekend reward event. Now, if you were to win up at the top level, you would probably win somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 worth of prizes for that three hours of having fun and playing games. If you were to win somewhere below that, you know, you might win, uh, I don't know, 100 bucks, 50 bucks, somewhere like that. Myself, this weekend, I won about, oh, let's say 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that, right? So you're probably thinking, okay, well, sure, I can buy decks and, you know, earn a certain number of decks, and but how do I make the money, right? Like, how do I actually make the money out of these decks that I earn? Well, these decks that you win are NFTs, and you can sell the NFTs on a marketplace like Token Trove. And actually, some of the numbers that we're looking at have potential to get quite a bit higher. So if, for example, we were taking a look at some of the Divine Order decks, which are the ones you can currently win, these are the current most new, uh, newly released decks that are available uh, on the Gods Unchained website, you can buy those as packs. Say you got Ophinian Fruit Bearer in your deck, he's worth 54 bucks. Now that $24 deck is actually worth 54 bucks. And you could head on over to Tro Token Trove and you could sell this guy, and he's selling quite frequently. You can see right here from the stats, 10, 10 of these sold yesterday, or maybe the day before, and then 12, and then 18, and then 19, and 21, and basically you can kind of see the price average and how frequently these are selling. So the answer is, yeah, pretty frequently. If you get a card like this, you list it for basically a dollar below the current lowest price, which is kind of how it works, and the next person who wants to buy this card buys it from you, and before you know it, you've got yourself a nice cool 50 bucks. And so, yeah, like I say, and here's the other interesting point to this, beyond the face value of the these cards. Let's take a look at someone like Nefru, Champion of Death. This was a part of one of the previous packs, Trial of the Gods set. No longer available for sale. You have to purchase these as NFTs from the sellers that that own these cards. You can't buy them anymore because they are all sold out. And that is the thing about this game is that they release packs and when you buy the packs initially they you can get them pretty cheaply and eventually over time they become worth more money. So what we're talking about here is, a, you know, if we, if we took a look at our, at our Finian Fruit Bearer, which we looked at previously, worth about 50 bucks, or Neferu Champion of Death from the previous set, for example, she used to be worth, oh, let's say you could, you could get her for about 50 bucks for quite a while there, right? Uh, currently, Neferu's worth about 160 bucks. And I dare say over the next year, she's going to be worth even more. If you look at some of the, at the very first uh, set that was ever released, we have the Genesis deck over here. Here we have the most, one of the most expensive cards, maybe the most expensive card, is Jason. Uh, if you look at him, when he was initially released, he was worth about 89 bucks, 30 bucks, even 30, 40, 50, 80, 50, yada, yada. Jason is currently selling for $2,000. Right? So over time, this is about a year old, maybe this deck, maybe a year and a bit, uh, give or take, I'm not exactly sure. Avatar of Nature, same idea, right? Currently worth 380 bucks, but initially when she first dropped on the market, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. So you give them a year to appreciate in value, the scarcity goes up, you can't get them as easily anymore, and the value goes up. Uh, and so, yeah, so what, what you're winning right now in terms of legendary cards, and that's the point I'm trying to get around to, so you got, say you win your, your Finian Fruit Bearer, and he's currently worth 50 bucks, and he's already actually increased in value quite a bit. He used to be worth uh, 20 bucks, right? He's already worth now 50. So uh, give him a year, and he could be worth 500 bucks. So the prizes that you're winning right now that are currently worth, oh, say, $25, $50 an hour, 100 you know, something like that, whatever the case may be, if you if you hold on to those, suddenly that you know twenty dollars an hour or fifty dollars an hour could be e equaling more like five hundred bucks an hour, right? Over time, as these appreciate in value, so that's that's pretty interesting. In addition to that, the game is currently doing a, 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 a giveaway, a blessing of the gods is what they're calling it, the blessing of the gods event, where in addition to the regular prizes that you get each weekend, each week you also can earn gods tokens. And I don't know how long this will be going on. This is maybe another few weeks that they're going to be doing this, and then beyond that, who knows? They may do some other events. Um, but basically, depending on how many games you play, and here's all the rules, I'm going to let you read about them, you can win even more God's Tokens, which can basically be claimed into your uh, Ethereum wallet immediately if you want to, well, about a week later, uh, and, and then as soon as you claim them, you can, uh, you can, you know, trade them for real money if you want. You could, you know, put them into Ethereum, you could put them into USDT, you could transfer it to your bank, you can do whatever you want with that, that is, that is your, your Ethereum money, or Ethereum-based money whatever the case may be. Um, so that's, that's you know, just one of many ways that this game is paying out its players. It just, and you don't even know what else is coming up. 
But what I do know, uh, having been a player for the last year, is that this game has surprised me a few times now, giving out, like I say, tens of thousands of dollars uh, worth of value in tokens uh, to its to its players. And uh, check out some of my previous videos if you want to learn more about how that, those work, so you can potentially maybe get in on any more of those that, who knows, may be coming up in the future. Even if they don't, there's still a lot of value in this game. So yeah, that's this video, you guys. Check out Gods Unchained. This game not only pays you to play, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I, I would play this game. If, if, if I had to pay you to play this game, I would play this game because this is a very fun game. So, all right, this is, yeah, just win, 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 fun, fun, fun. Go, go, go. Get the money, guys. Have the fun. Good luck. See you in the next video.